he saw a fox. Who could he be? Pooh wondered. <coughs> well, I'll just take a look and see. <laughs> In the center of the crowd stood the handsome fox. The fox held up one beautiful outfit after another. Only someone who is very important would ever wear clothes like these. Take it from me, sly fox, he said. All the animals nodded and agreed. You could tell just by the clothes that sly fox was important. With clothes like those, I could look big and brave, Piglet thought. Oh, does Piglet need to look big and brave? Yeah. No, we love Piglet just the way he is, huh? He doesn't need to change. Why, I could be the life of every party, thought Owl. They would make me feel almost happy, thought Eeyore. Where can I get some, asked Tigger. Oh, do tell us, please, cried Kanga. <laughs> Everybody wants to change. We don't want them to change. Yeah. Huh? We love them the way they are. I can make these clothes for you, said Sly Fox. I have some of the best cloth ever made. No other cloth is as soft, as smooth, or as light. It is all so magic cloth. Only wise people can see it. My word, muttered Owl. How wonderful, said Rabbit. Oh, they're all very excited about this cloth. They can't see when you sit there. Can you sit just to the side? There we go, now everyone can see. You might have to scoot back a little. All right. I see <laughs> my Ooh. sister, my eyes in that little spot. Yeah. <laughs> Who will be the ah, first to have it. clothes of magic cloth, asked Sly. I will, cried Pooh. Do you think you could make a suit to fit me? For a price, my good bear, for a price, said Sly. I will make you a suit but you must give me all of your honey. <gasps> no. That's his favorite thing, huh? No. Do you think he's gonna do it? Oh, no. I don't know. Let's, let's find out. Okay, sit down <clears throat> a little bit lower. Hmm, thought Pooh. That is quite a lot to ask. Wear it and you will be the wisest bear around, said Sly. Oh, all right, said Pooh. It is a deal, cried Sly. I can't believe he's going to give up his honey. Oh. He loves his honey, huh? He can't. He can't. Oh. Sly Fox set up his shop in a quiet corner of the woods. All the animals left him alone so he could make Pooh's new suit. But... Sly had played a trick on the good animals in the Hundred Acre Woods. There was no magic cloth at all. Day after day, Sly pretended to work, but all he really did was think about Pooh's delicious honey. Uh-oh, they were tricked, huh? <clears throat> yeah. Mama. Yeah. Mama. Meanwhile, Pooh Bear looked for his honey. Now, where did I put those jars? He sighed. This is why I need magic cloth. They will make me turn, they will turn me into a wise bear. Then I will always be able to find my jars of honey. Oh, he does love his honey, huh? This thought pleased Pooh a lot. Now, he did not mind looking for the honey at all. Because he thinks he's going to be smart, huh? He's going to be so hungry. He's going to be so hungry. Yeah. Oh. While Pooh Bear looked for his honey, the other creatures in the woods began to worry. 
I do hope I will be able to see the clothes of magic, Piglet said. Only wise people can see the clothes. Benson, are you enjoying this story? Yeah? <clears throat> Only wise people can see the clothes, said Owl. I'm sure I will be able to see them. I know I will see them too. Okay, said Tigger, but he secretly wondered if he was wise enough. Hmm. I think everyone's feeling a little worried and a little insecure about themselves. Maybe none of us is wise enough to see the magic cloth, thought Tigger. He was one he was worried. Well, I am off, he said. Then he bounced on over to Sly's workshop. He wanted to find out if he was wise or not. Take a look, said Sly. Just in here, sit down over to the side just a little bit. There you go, perfect. Now you can see even better. Take a look, said Sly. Isn't it lovely? Uh oh, thought Tigger. I don't see anything at all. But that's not what Tigger said. He told Sly. <clears throat> Fox said it was the prettiest cloth he had ever seen. And he told the other animals the same thing. Oh. Oh no, he lied. Is it okay to lie? No. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's never okay to lie, huh? Even if we think it's gonna make us look good, it's not a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna switch sides. All right, so let's find out what happens. Soon, Al began to wonder if he was wise enough to see the magic cloth he did not want to be the only one who couldn't see it. So Owl, too, went to visit Sly the Fox. Mm, what's going to happen? See here, Wise Owl, said Sly. He's going to lie. He's going to lie. Owl's going to lie, too. Uh-oh. Isn't my cloth grand? Owl was about to say, I don't see any cloth. But he remembered that even Tigger had seen the cloth. Oh, yes, indeed. That cloth is grand. He walked away slowly, thinking very hard. Uh-oh. Who's going to be honest? Kango! Eeyore had heard about enough about Pooh's magic cloth clothes. What good are magic clothes anyway, he thought. Besides, what if I am not wise enough to see them? This thought made Eeyore very sad. Oh, poor Eeyore. When he got to... Look through the log tree holding that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And those ones are stuck together. Yep, they are. When Eeyore got to slice, Eeyore felt sadder than ever. I would have to be the only one who couldn't see Pooh's clothes, he thought. But Eeyore would not say that he could not see the clothes. So he muttered, they are all right if you like that sort of thing. Oh no, another person pretending they can see something that's not there, huh? They all are going to look silly. Kanga and Rue also went to visit Sly. Oh, Mr. Fox, how lovely, said Kanga. What is Mama making such a fuss about? <clears throat> Rue began to say. Hush, dear, said Kanga. Then she left in a hurry. But Mama, there, was, there were no clothes in Mr. Fox's shop. I know that, dear, answered Kanga. Just don't tell anyone else. Uh-oh. The next day, Rabbit went to see Sly. He thought this Sly might need on some my help. Lip. I bought a got stuck on my lip when oh. I was drinking it, and oh. I let go of it, and it 
one came off. Oh my goodness. And it came off and it touched it. Oh my goodness, crazy. Okay, Sly was happy to see Rabbit. The clothes are almost done, he cried. Come inside and take a look. He is one tricky little fox, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Tricky mm -hmm. everybody. Rabbit stepped into the shop. There must be some mistake, he thought. I do not see a, a stitch of clothing anywhere. But all Rabbit said was, my, my, those clothes are wonderful. Okay. All right. What's mm. up, so everybody? Let's find out. At last, Pooh found all of his jars of honey. Did Sly Fox say he wanted all of my honey? Perhaps just some of my honey would do. Well, he doesn't want to give it away, huh? Now that the time's come, he's thinking, maybe this isn't such a good idea to give away all of my honey. He did say all your honey jars, Pooh. But think of what you will get, said Piglet. The best clothes in all the world, added Rabbit. Uh, yes, you uh, are right, sighed Pooh. He picked up all the honey jars. Here I go. Oh, he's having second thoughts. Should he do it? Oh, no. what do you think? I don't know. Okay, yum, thought Sly when he saw Pooh's honey. <laughs> he grabbed the jars. Here is your grand new suit. Oh, said Tigger. Ah, said Rabbit. But, said Roo. Hush, said Kinga. Hush. <laughs> want everyone to see this picture. I love them, said Pooh. Mm -hmm. He didn't care that he couldn't see them. He knew he was just a bear with a little brain. Mm -hmm. But Pooh was glad that his wise friends could see them. That was enough for him. Uh -huh. See the pretty flowers on this shirt, asked Sly. They look so real that you can almost smell them. As Pooh sniffed the air, Sly pretended to help Pooh put on his new shirt and pants. Pretty oh. good fit, aren't they? Now for the jacket, said Sly, a beautiful suit. <laughs> and it is so light and weight that you won't even know you're wearing it. Beep. How do Beep. I look? Ask who handsome, said Kanga, brave, said Piglet, happy, said Eeyore, not wise, asked, P asked Pooh. Oh, yes, very wise, added Tigger. He was glad to be able to say something nice. That's just what I thought, said Pooh. Hold on. Just then, Pooh saw Christopher Robin. What do you think of my new clothes, Christopher? Asked Pooh. Why, Pooh, you silly bear, those are the same clothes you always wear, said Christopher Robin. But I gave Sly Fox all of my money to make these clothes all of my honey, and they are magic. Only wise people can see them. Pooh stopped. Suddenly, Pooh Bear knew the truth. There was no one wiser than Christopher Robin. If he couldn't see the clothes, then they were not there. That sly fox had paid, played a trick on me, he said. I wish I had kept a little honey. It helps to have honey at a time like this. Mm. Don't feel bad, Pooh. Mm. Sly fox tricked mm. us too, said Owl. I knew there was no cloth, said Roo. All of you knew, said Christopher Robin. But you were afraid to believe in your own eyes. You were afraid of what the others would think. But I think you are all perfect just the way you are. Then Christopher Robin took mm. them home and he gave Pooh Bear an extra hug to show him that he was the best bear in the whole wide world. The end. So, just like Pooh Bear didn't need a change and his friends didn't need a change, they were perfect just the way they were. And you are perfect just the way you are. You don't have to change and try to be someone else. You're perfect just how you are. So be yourself and everyone else will love you for being yourself. Thank you for reading stories with us. 
click on our subscribe button below and click on the thumbs up to show that you liked our story today.